You can be seated. Thank you very much. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm informed you have a verdict. Is that correct? Correct. Right. Is it Has it been signed by your foreperson? It has. Please give it to the bailiff. Jury's verdict in case 18B 1541-1, State of Georgia versus Tiffany Nicole Moss. Count one, findings of jury as to alleged statutory aggravating circumstances. We, the jury, find beyond a reasonable doubt that the offense of murder as alleged in count one was outrageously or wantonly vile, horrible, or inhuman in that it involved torture of the victim before death. We, the jury, find beyond a reasonable doubt that the offense of murder as alleged in count one was outrageously or wantonly vile, horrible, or inhuman in that it involved depravity of mind of the defendant, signed and dated by the foreperson. Verdict as to penalty, count one, murder. We, the jury, recommend and fix the penalty as death, signed and dated by the foreperson. Please give it to counsel for their review of support, sir. Exceptions to the form of the verdict by the state? None from the state as to form or something. Any exceptions to the form of the verdict by the defense? No, Your Honor. Ladies and CGA section 171034 requires that the court set the date of execution not less than 20 days nor more than 60 days from today's date, and there's a seven day window within which the execution is to take place. I fix the date of your execution, ma'am, as the seven day interval between noon on June the 7th, 2019, and noon. On June the 14th, 14th, 2019. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to hit you with a video. Now, I hope you all are having a very great day on this Wednesday, this Hump's Day. And this story right here comes out of Gwinnett County by way of Georgia. Big shout out to everybody in Georgia, everybody in Albany, uh, everybody in Macon, everybody in Savannah, everybody in Augusta, everybody in the ATL, everybody in the great state of Georgia holding it down. Now, this is an update to a story that I did a couple years ago and also an update to a story that took place way back in 2013 before I got on YouTube. But, you know, a lot of you are already familiar with this case and due to the popularity of this case, a lot of people are just now privy to this case. But this case, for those who don't know, I will give you a backdrop on it. You have a stepmom, which is Tiffany Moss, and you also have the dad, which is Amon Moss, and also the stepdaughter, Amani Moss. Now, the dad and the daughter share the same name, pretty much, Iman Imani. So you would think there would be a strong connection. And this may make some of you all very mad, but I feel in my heart that the dad is just as guilty as the damn mom, as the stepmom, uh, forgive me for that. But I think that they both should have got the same sentencing. And you might say, well, Trey, why didn't the dad get the death sentence? It was because he pleaded out to testify against Tiffany back in 2019, where he took a deal where if he testified against her, that they would give him life, because they do it all the time in different cases, depends on, you know what I'm saying, the uh, different variations of what took place, what uh, the nature of the case was, was it any kind of passion, crime, or violence, stuff like that. They would let you testify against each other. Some of you all know about this. Some of you all right now got a record so damn long. Anyway, so he testified against Tiffany back in 2015, and they gave him life, and he'd been serving his life since, since 2015, but I guess she wanted to want to take her to trial. He didn't want to fight his because it was pretty much a losing battle. Anytime you dealing with stuff like this in certain states, where well, Texas is one of them, in Georgia also, in Florida, you don't want them to get caught up in them states messing with no damn child. For you states that don't have no death penalty, better be glad that you ain't in one of these damn southern states where they were quick to get your ass up out of here. But anyway, fast forward. So 
Tiffany decides to represent herself, which is a very crazy idea because you would think, well, damn, do she got some kind of paralegal experience? Do she have any kind of experience in practicing law? Now, there are some people who went to jail, went to prison and used their, well, not prison because you go to prison after you get sentenced, but went to jail. And, and if your jail still have a law library, they what they call it, where you go in there and educate yourself about certain laws, like if laws depends on the nature of it. But if it wasn't none too serious, like you have certain statute of limitations, you can go in there and you can use that to stand on if the judge or the attorney don't already bring it up. So I'm pretty sure that she wasn't doing none of that. Now, why did she decide to represent herself? I don't know, but I guess she pretty much felt in her heart. She was done with. You can put a fork in her. She is done. Now, they allegedly with a strong allegedly because they did it, you know, so we can just drop the word allegedly. Now, what happened was the mom and the dad decided to get together and starve this child while the other children who was by Tiffany because uh, Imani was Tiffany's stepdaughter, but she was Iman, biological daughter. Well, you have Iman and Imani. Now, Tiffany and the dad also, because I don't care what nobody say, the Tiffany couldn't have did this by himself. And last time I checked, uh, not too many women are stronger than the man. So if the man wanted his child to eat, guess what? The child would have ate regardless. Now, you can say, well, Trey, maybe he was brainwashed. Maybe he was under mind control. Well, they say the same damn thing when men make women do certain things. But if you're weak enough to let somebody do you like that to mess over your own children, throw away your life and also kill them and ruin theirs, well, shit, you deserve everything you get there. I just can't help you. I don't know how else to say it. But they starved this child out. This child was like 32 pounds allegedly when the child died now after the child was dead they put the child body inside of a trash can and set the trash can on fire i guess they were uh trying to make what they call a soup and they get that from the mexican cartels where they would put bodies in there whether it's rival drug dealers or witnesses or people that just was rival drug dealers or whoever law enforcement they would put their bodies in these containers and they would pour acid in there seal it up and it'll make a soup it would dissolve everything it would be number liquids in there bones and everything will be gone so i don't know if they thought that this was going to work but it's a horrible way to die and that what is ultimately convicted the both of them and also gave her the death penalty was the fact is that it's the nature in which she went by killing this child not only did you torture this child before you killed the child because if she would just start a child she would just got life sentence but the fact that you killed the child then you just decide to burn the body they, that's what they look at, the nature of the crime. I'm going to read a snippet from this story, and I'm going to give my opinion. Surely, as we go, evil stepmom shows no emotion as she is sentenced to execution for a starving 10-year-old girl to death before burning her body in a trash can, along with the girl biological father. We cannot sit up here and put all this on Tiffany. And true enough, I cannot stand nobody who mess over children. But we got to call a spade a spade. Just because the dad pleaded out back in 2015 to avoid the death penalty does not mean that he should not get the same kind of criticism that this raggedy ass stepmammy get. Let's just be for real. This is not a daddy. This is a pappy. Because what kind of man going to sit there, number one, and let another heifer mess over his child? What kind of man going to sit there and watch his own child being tied in the bedroom, tied down to a mattress? and losing weight, and slowly dying, you're not going to do anything about it. If anything, you would take your child and get the hell up out of it, or you would beat the hell out of this stepmom. And I don't believe in putting no damn hands or paws or no, your foot up your ass, uh, up a woman ass. But when it comes to your children, you have to sit there and do what you got to do. So this guy is just as guilty as the stepmom. Now, Tiffany Moss, 36, but look at her bit right now, and she ain't got long left. Lord have mercy. I ain't never seen them. Um, before I continue, I have never seen them give somebody a death sentence in, in uh, uh, what, April 31st, April 30th, and then talking about we're going to kill you a month and a half later. They already signed her execution date. It's between June the 7th and June the 14th. The judge looked at her and said, don't you plan shit from the 7th all the way to the 14th because you're just not going to be here. You're going to be all, well, she's going to be the only one. She's the only female inmate on death row in the state of Georgia. Ain't that a coincidence? Damn. But anyway, you got like 50 some damn men. See, they give women more leeway than they do men. So women, they tend to get away with more crimes and stuff like that because, you know, they looking at all kinds of excuses and stuff or what the person was going through or they're emotional and all this other stuff. That's why she is the only one who will be the third woman in Georgia history to be executed. And they're not wasting no time getting her up out of here. I mean, I don't know what she going to be able to tell. I don't think she's going to go uh, see Jesus, though. I don't know. I ain't trying to say what she's going to go in the next life, but this life is over with. 
Tiffany Moss, 36, but look every bit right now of 56, but she ain't got long left to look 56. A few weeks left, and they counting them down. Well, sentenced to Lethal Injection. They finna give her the old Ice Cube album cover, Lethal Injection. By a Georgia jury on Tuesday, she was found guilty in a grisly death of 10-year-old stepdaughter Imani. That's sad. Treat your own stepdaughter like that while your damn kids up in there eating high off the hog, what they call down south. He just eating good, just getting all fat, pooting everywhere, got little daddy cakes, and poor little girl could get a snack. I couldn't have been poor Imani. I would have bust out that damn window. I would have been trying my best to get away so I can run straight to that refrigerator and run my ass. Right out the door, but you got to have some energy. The girl probably just as weak, as, as fragile as, I don't know what, 10 years old, on the way, and 30-some pounds? Shit, you got some damn newborn fat-ass babies and stuff that's weighing 12 and 13 pounds. Imani weighed just 32 pounds when she died of starvation in her own bed. Not nobody else's bed, but her own damn bed. Moss acted as her own attorney. I don't know what gave her the audacity. To act as her own damn attorney. Girl, who been teaching you? Have you been watching it? Uh, just because you watch CSI in Law and Order don't mean that you're uh, classified and capable of going up there and standing in front of the judge, in the juror, in the prosecution. They're going to look at you and tell you you're going to sit your cartoon watching ass down somewhere. Now, she acted as her own attorney and said nothing, what we call Nathan, in her defense throughout the trial. What can she say? Shit, she knows she gone. The husband already done testified against you. They want your damn ass. You know what I'm saying? They looking at you like, you the evil one. You feel me? And that's amazing that they didn't try to give them both. Well, they, they would have told the husband, look, you can keep that damn testimony. You should have been trying to testify before your daughter died. You can take that testimony and shove it right up your keister. No. They said, no. You go ahead and go and plead out. Back in 2015. We'll give you this life sentence. Sure, we're going to give you that anyway. We were trying to give you the death penalty. But Tiffany, your ass is grass. She showed no emotion, not a lick of emotion. Like she was happy. You know what I'm saying? As she became the only woman on Georgia's death row, it's going to be a long, long walk. Boy, I'm telling you, but I got I mean, you do the crime, you do the time and all this stuff. You do the crime, you got to pay the price. But damn, imagine just sitting there just knowing it's June the 6th and you looking out that window and you just knowing like this, it's your last day on the face of this earth. A woman who was convicted of killing her stepdaughter by Starvation has been sentenced to death by lethal injection. Ain't no telling what they're going to put in that concoction. Tell them put a little Hennessy and E&J in there for me so I can go with a smile. Tiffany Smiles, 36, showed no emotion on Tuesday morning as the jury in Gwinnett County, Georgia, delivered the death sentence. It only took them three hours, and they were probably back there just delivering. What y'all, they probably walked in that room like this, like, look, we finna order some pizzas. What you want, Bob? You want, you want? Supreme, what you want, Kathy? You want pepperoni? What you want, Tim? You want bacon? Uh, well, look, what are we gonna do about this Tiffany Moss? Oh, that bitch guilty. That's done with. They they probably came up with that verdict in thirty seconds and just chill back there the rest of the time. It took them three hours to deliver the verdict. So anyway, now on Monday, Moss was found guilty of all counts, including murder, cruelty to children, and trying to conceal the death of e money by burning her body in a trash can. The girl weighed just 32 pounds when she died, and that's what ultimately sank the ass with the death penalty. Not the fact that you starved the girl to death, but the fact you're still going to torture the body even more. Even though the soul is gone, she gave up the ghost. True enough, e money did. But they're looking at the nature of the crime, and that's why she got this damn death penalty. So we finna see. We finna see. You know what I'm saying? When it, I wonder how she's going to feel when she feel that cold... <laughs> that cold rush come through her body when they lay her down, they strap her down. Like, you know what I'm saying? That got to be the worst feeling in the world just knowing. Even though you did do all this damn evil shit, that got to be a scary feeling just knowing you finna get the same thing that you gave to somebody else. Moss represented herself at trial. What a dumbass. And mounted no defense. I don't think Johnny Cochran, may he rest in peace, Robert Shapiro himself could have came back and uh, Saved her from this case right here. Ain't no way in hell they had a defense built up against this. Because what can you say? What can you say? You know, you got to throw yourself on the mercy of the court. And for my people who don't know what throwing yourself on the mercy of the court means, y'all tell them in the comment section. She made no opening statement or closing argument. She didn't say, well, this is what. She did not end with, this is what. She didn't say, shit. She just shot. She just sat there and just looked straight ahead. Like she was one of them, uh, them, um, them tethers off the movie Us. I don't know what the hell was going on. Now, and she called no witnesses because who going to come and hold up for you? Shit, they'll be a damn fool. They'll be getting ridiculed all through the state of Georgia. You going to go to help Tiffany? Huh? The same woman that killed her stepdaughter? Get your ass up out of here. 
saying she hoped that God would see her through the case. Yeah, he did. God did see you through the case. That's why you finna go meet him very soon. So y'all can have a one-on-one. -on -one. Her husband, Iman Moss, Iman is biological father, and he's a sack of shit too. Yes, he is. Y'all remember that. Remember I said that. The dad is a sack of shit too. And any dad out there, whether you in prison right now, what are you doing, or whether you, whatever you're hiding at, if you knowing that somebody, mom's dad's whoever, but if you knowing that you with somebody, whether it's a stepmom or a stepdad, and I'm talking to men and women, and you know somebody misusing your child, mistreating your child, whether it's sexually or being abusive toward them in any kind of way, you a sack of shit also, and you need to go to jail too. Because number one, <laughs> people would do what you allow them to do. And you ain't never heard that Pastor Troy mother would do what you allow them to do. You got to stop it. You know what I'm saying? If you a man, no damn way in hell that you can sit up here and tell me because ain't no nookie, no cookie good enough like that in the world for me to sit up here and let you misuse my damn child. I wouldn't give a damn what your mouth do. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to show you what these hands and these foot do when I get through putting them on you and putting my foot up your ass. That's the point I'm making right there because number one, all this would have been avoided. Don't get mad. If the dad would have stood the hell up with a real dad's Please stand up. Is serving life in prison without parole for his role in the crime. After pleading guilty to felony murder in 2015 in exchange for testifying against his wife, Tiffany, the child slayer of Moss. He could have stopped all this shit. You feel me? You could have stopped all this, man. Ain't no excuse for that. How did this woman convince you to starve your own child while her kids have been there eating high off the hall? How did she convince you to do that? And why would you let that go on? You didn't try to sneak a damn Twinkie to your daughter? You didn't try to sneak a pack of sardines or crackers to your damn child? You're just going to sit there and let a bitch kill your damn child? Oh, hell no. Her death sentence was the first handed down in Georgia in more than five years. And the last one was to a man. At trial, prosecutors pointed a damning picture of Moss, who they said kept her young stepdaughter confined to a bedroom in their Lawrenceville area apartment, slowly starving her to death. That couldn't have been me. I would have balled up in some sheets and ran and jumped the fuck out that window. You see what I'm saying? I'm not finna sit there and die for nobody. I don't care if I'm chained up to the bed. Guess what they say? You gotta take that arm off. I don't care if if my eye is attached or something. My eye gotta come out because guess what? I am not finna die up in this damn room, but that's just me. You feel me? Anyway, a medical examiner described how a money Wasted away without food or water. And knowing your body need water more than it need food. Why do you think you can only go a couple of days without water, but you can go weeks <laughs> without food, even though some of you all can't? And lived and wasted in her own bed because she became too weak to move. So the girl basically laying there urinating and feces defecating on herself and laying there in that mess. That right there would cause soils and bacteria, all kinds of build up right there. How do you do a child like that? I don't care if it's male or female. How can you do a child like that? And how can y'all live in that apartment around that damn smell? Y'all demonic. Now, authorities say she weighed just 32 pounds when she died. Damn, I know some fat-ass babies six months right now that weighed 40 pounds. Prosecutors highlighted text messages sent by Tiffany Moss to her husband, Iman, during a time when the money was being starved. So you're going to text message me, my, you starving my damn child? Oh, hell no. That's why I say both of them need their ass kicked. Now, at least twice, Ma sent her husband pictures of meals she had prepared for him and her own two children, the couple share. So this this woman, this this uh this this uh heifer have nerve enough to send a picture of a fucking piece of food, a meal that you prepare for yourself and the children and your husband, and that made the husband just feel good. Damn dog, you needed a woman that damn bad. I wouldn't give a damn. Damn a woman, you ain't finna do nothing to my child. I just be, we'll be me and my damn child. You feel me? Damn a heifer if I gotta choose between my child and your ass. Now, prosecutor said it likely took two weeks for money to die of starvation and also uh, other causes due to the fact that she's urinating and defecating on herself also. With no water, no food, it took approximately a little bit over two weeks for this child to succumb to her injuries. And you talking about being tortured. You ever been so damn hungry till it keeps you awake? Have you ever been so hungry till it make you shake? Have you ever been so damn hungry till you can't see straight? If you ain't never been that damn hungry, trust me, you don't know what you'll do when you get that damn hungry. It's amazing this child and started trying to eat her damn self. After the girl's death, Tiffany and the mud mouth stuffed her body in a trash can and set it on fire. Yes, even worse, even after the child died, suffer, you're going to make the body suffer some damn more. 
The two other children whose ages have not been revealed were with them when they tried to dispose of the body. Gwinnett District Attorney Danny Porter urged the jury to choose the death penalty for Tiffany Moss rather than life without parole because a person like that who has all this evilness in her and, and then the nature of this beast, the fact that you will sit up here and prepare a food for you and your damn two children and a husband while this child is in the damn bedroom right next to you starving. You want to go, you want to go do nothing for the child? Why? Why? Why not take your two kids and let Iman be with his daughter or since he ain't shit also because he allowed this shit to go on because he's just as guilty as her. Only reason why he's not on death row is because he testified against her 20, in 2015. That's the only reason why. So we can't sit up here and say she a devil and he's, he, he's not. They're both fucking devils. Now, she's shown you too much of her capacity for cruelty. This is the DEA talking. There will always be that dark side waiting to come out. Yes, it is. He said according to the news. So when people show you who they are, believe them. Porter slammed Moss as an evil stepmom in his opening statement saying that the case was like a Cinderella story gone horribly wrong. You remember the story of Cinderella, how they treated Cinderella like shit? Even though it was Disney make-believe, but it still has a meaning to it. It has an underlying meaning to it. You see what I'm saying? And the same thing goes on in these foster homes in certain group homes, but more foster homes and stuff where you have these people have children that ain't theirs and don't give a damn about these kids. Asked by the judge if she wanted to say anything to the jury before sentencing to explain her life circumstances, Moss only replied, no. Because evidently she must have accepted her damn faith. Because one thing about it, we cannot allow people like this to coexist around us. I mean, it's got to be awakening. It got to be people standing for right. If you're going to stand for right, stand for right all the way. If you're going to stand for wrong, stand for wrong. But you can't be lukewarm. You can't be flip-flop. You can't be playing both sides of the fence. Either you're going to speak the truth and stand up for what's right, or you can just shut the hell up and play the game like everybody else. Let me know what you all think. And also remember this right here. You know what I'm saying? If you got children, love those children. Because there's people out here wishing that they had children. But for this man, I'm talking to the dad, damn the stepmom. For this man, and that's your biological child, how can you sit there and let your daughter suffer while Tiffany's sitting there treating her kids to the best meals, video games, or whatever the hell else? And you the man. So you just as guilty as Tiffany. And, it's, and, and you're lucky that it's not you being put to death also because really you should be put to death first also because that was your child and you had every damn opportunity and it was your responsibility to protect your daughter period you had every chance in the world to set this right and you did so you should have been dying right beside her let y'all hold hands while they put them needles in your arm let me know what you think if you like the video push that like button if you like the video subscribe to the channel definitely share this video with your family and friends until next time you all stay blessed have a great day and you know I'm sorry I had to go a little in there, but you know, I love the kids. I just hate to see people treat innocent people that can't protect themselves. They can't do nothing to defend themselves, treat them bad, and then they die. And we're supposed to act like it's all good. No, it's not. Stay blessed. I'm out.